more than what I've already had to drink. And now, new legacy and Hogan vs. Flair. Well, mainly Hogan vs. Flair. We did that shit last week. Hogan yeah. vs. Flair presents Multiverse Modes. Boner Dome! Boner Dome. They're still building the fucking cage. <laughs> In the meantime, while they're building the cage, let's run down our cards tonight. The Blake is here. Uh, yeah! The ca the caveman is here. Yeah! Everyone else is here. Nice to see you guys coming on. Yeah, yeah. And our opener is the Have Some Fun Dammit Extreme Rules match as Greenwich Vince will take on Camo Pants and Rob Van Dam. And a Hell in a Cell match. Standard Boner Dome issue. Uh, Beard Samuelson will defend the Incontinental title against Ric Flair. In order for the title to change hands, there must be blood. In a tag team Hell in a Cell boner, tag team Boner Girl match. <laughs> what the fuck? Sure. Transvestite <laughs> Nup. Uh, it is Karma Kong and Joe Burton fresh off the uh, the 187 of Kelly Kelly last week. <laughs> Taking on the $1.99 champion Death Phoenix and Tits McGee. In a six-man elimination chamber tag match, the San Bernardino City Council, the best friends forever champions, John Laurinaitis, Fudge Puddle, and Ken Shamrock. Taking on Scotty, to Bobby, to Holly. It's perfect. In a cooldown match, Justin Disco Liger takes on Bowling Shirt. Uh, Mike Tyson will face Almond Roca. And oh, shit. your main event of tonight is for the big shiny thing in its elimination chamber. Scott Steiner, H3, Lucha Nash, Joseph Esquire, Esquire, J J Y2JBL, and Fist Pasta. <laughs> This so. pasta is the tan horse in this match. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, you heard me. Yeah, okay. All right, Blake, who you got? Who you got winning? Let's see. Let's put up a poll here. I want to see. Uh, uh, oh, where, oh, where you want me to predict the winners oh, for this? Oh yeah, let's predict the winner. Oh man. Okay. Bo Boner Dome, the giant, the Boner Dome, the final climax. <laughs> well, as much as I want to go with Steiner, like I usually do, I think Lucha Nash has this one. All right, let's see here. We got Steiner is the uh, incoming champion, so won the belt at Very Large Wrestling Event 51, having survived getting dragon suplexed onto a set of stairs. Oh shit! Oh, that was I. I straight up lost my shit, and that's not what I want to do. Hold on, folks. Yeah, because no, there are three other people on that match too. Yeah, I shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Joseph Esquire. Yes, Q. <laughs> I'm telling you, Fist Pasta is going to be champion by the end of the night. The oh, yeah? The Fist movement is on. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Is, is this so, going to be... Really I know I'm not... I'm Go sorry. Ahead. Go ahead. I know I'm not supposed to cross universes, but the last time I was in a call, or tried to be, I watched Ric Flair, or... The naked boy Ric Flair and um, I forget who it was already have th two or three consecutive rematches f just trading the belt back and forth okay. in a ladder match. Well, actually, what happened was uh, last week, since Blake wasn't here, I'll, I'll explain briefly. Um, San Bernardino City Council lost the uh, the NL simultaneous titles to the New West Orfica, R Truth, and Kofi Kingston. Um, I'm trying to think what else happened. Oh, we have a new inter Johnsonental champion. It is no longer John the Great, Great Khali. It is the Road John, Johnny James. Oh, man. I know. Is uh, he a double champion? No. Single champion. Well, then why does he have two Johns on his name? Because it's the inter Johnsonental champion. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, trying to think, I'm trying to think what else happened. Uh, we have a new Hokey Pokey champion, Animal Pinned... Uh, uh, Paul Bearer in a triple threat match after Paul Bearer was pretty much royally destroyed. Oh, of course. So Black Black this Black lost his title. Damn. Um, let me think. Uh, pretty much anyone who had dreadlocks won. Oh, neat. 
And in the main event, a 30-man battle royal went to a no contest after Sin Cara glitched the game. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> and that, nobody I, won. <laughs> oh. That makes perfect sense. It, it happened when uh, it was Sin Cara, a big, big, large, huge, threw Sin Cara and someone else out of the ring, and it glitched the game. So we all oh. blamed it on Sin Cara. Because. <laughs> so, here we go. Extreme rules. Let's have some, have some fun, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Triple Threat Extreme Rules, Greenwich Vince with Camo Pants and Rob Van Dam. No cannons, no disqualifications, who's, no fun. <laughs> who's going to win this one? I don't know. Let's see. Let's. I'm checking the poll right now. We have a staunch lead for Steiner, eight votes. Nash and Fist Pasta in second and third, respectively, with three and two votes. You know, two ECW legends and Devon. Yeah. Greatest tag champions, greatest television champion, and greatest ECW champion ever. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Vince has him under contract so Shane Douglas doesn't do another reunion show. Ah. That'll put him up to 17, I think. They're rooting for Steiner. You know what that means. He's going to be first eliminated. Oh, yeah. They call him Vince. Greenwich Vince. <laughs> because you know I'm all about the Vince. About the Vince. Fuck no, you. Russo. I'm all about the Vince. About the Vince. No, Bischoff. I'm all about that Vince. <laughs> I'm wearing tiny tanks and little bottom jeans. <laughs> I hate you I am so an old man that. with prosthetic knees. Every inch of you is perfect, from Connecticut to Florida, because the body of t <laughs> shut, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> I'm going to throw you in a garbage truck here in a minute. I will, sh I will shit on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Things have escalated quite quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Steiner with ten votes. He's the, uh... They want to see him retain. Very difficult to do that in the boner... In the, uh... And the uh, the double decker boner dome, I believe they call that the DP. And the double decker boner dome of devastation. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> and here you see camo pants with slight ham job movements. Well, he's got to he's got to summon those ghosts, and that's the only way you can. Testify. Those protect those protective ghosts of Dudleyville. You know, Stonewall Dudley. <laughs> Ulysses S. Dudley. I was just thinking the same damn thing. <laughs> we hang out entirely too damn much. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, if you want to buy an Oppa suit, I'm selling it. <laughs> oh, yeah, which one? The test pattern? Test pattern, that's it. I mean, what size? Uh, oh, the pants size, I think, is a 34. Uh, oh, um, hmm. Well, the, 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 the size on them is overinflated. It's... Uh. Yeah. It's not fitting my fat ass anymore, so. <laughs> hmm. Mind the gap. <laughs> <laughs> He's whistling. Huh? Here comes Devon the Building Fun. That's his actual last name. Devon the building fund. <laughs> They've been ra he's been raising that building fund for 15 years, and not a single cent has left it. He's a pass upon a plate. He's just trying to find a dishwasher. He's just looking for some food. We have a we have a tie for second place in the poll between Fist Pasta and Ke and Lucha Nash. Oh, what the fuck! <laughs> Everybody knows that Steiner is going to get injured beforehand backstage and Bob Hawley is going to take his place. Oh, fuck. It was a May to dismay. <laughs> uh. Uh. Couple uh, stray votes. Uh, two for Y2 JBL. In the bottom of the list, H3 and Joseph Esquire, Esquire. <laughs> the lead counsel of the attorneys at Raw. 
All righty, folks. Let's have some fun, damn it. Extreme yeah, goals are opener. Here we go. Greenwich, Vince. Series of what the shit was that? <laughs> well, the lights went out. No, they didn't. Oh, okay. We forgot to pay the power bill. Cock blocked by camo pants there. Now working away as the ECW legends. Working away on another ECW legend. Arm drag. Monkey flip. Hey, that's racist. Mm -mm. Oh, wait. RV. Oh, okay, never mind. Back to the match. Nightbreaker from camo pants. Series of things going on right now. <laughs> A multitude of things and or stuff going on in this match as we Jaw speak. Jawjacker with the stiff hair of Greenwich Vince. Cock block again from RVD. And the moonsault. Come on, camo pants. Where's your moonsault? Bit of a distraction from everyone. <laughs> Numerous things going on. If you can call it that. Nightbreaker again. I'd have to say camo pants thus far, the, uh, the aggressor. An early favorite in this one. His amateur background from Dudleyville playing, playing well in succession there. Neckbreaker working away on Van Dam. He was a county champion in Dudleyville. Uh, oddly enough, uh, surrounded by no other counties. The, his, the, population, the population of his graduating class was 45 of his half-brothers. <laughs> oddly enough, Dudleyville exists in the Phantom Zone. The smartest man was Magna Cum Dudley. Close line from <laughs> close line. <laughs> the two yeah. wanted to see his magna doodle. Whoa! <laughs> and we're outside. Vince going for the chair. Devon has the uh, bowling shirt. Has the no oh, fuck it. <laughs> Greenwich Vince pissed that no one is having fun. As the stairs regain a vertical balance there. <laughs> Vince with the crutch. No, it's not a motorcycle accident. <laughs> Van Dam with the chair. How, I wasn't paying attention. Was there a stunt rider stretch? Negative. Damn. <laughs> Everyone's got... Oh, Vince takes one to the back of the head. Call Zach Gowan. The, that fake replica belt by some guy who is pretty big thinks he's pretty big shit. <laughs> <laughs> if, well, if you that's hear Zach, both of us. <laughs> if you if you hear Zach Cowan's leg ringing, it's just his get smart foot phone. <laughs> Goes for the drink and connects on the drink. No, who had who in fact had a cup of lighter fluid at ringside? I want to know. <laughs> Vince levels well, him with well, one well, fucking punch. Considering that this. Considering the show is called Boner Dome, I don't really want to know what was in that cup. <laughs> A dumb fucking chair shots everywhere. <laughs> Dangerous, unprotected chair shots. Swinging deck breaker from Vince McMahon. And we are almost back into the ring. Just barely. The boot from Vince. Vince looking for more stuff. He's got a mop. He's got that boom mic. Just littering the frickin' place. Oh! <laughs> um. As we take a look in our last action replay. Oh, Jesus Christ, the fan is dead. <laughs> 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 the teleporting chair of death with Rob the Bio Rob He Dam. just hit a fan with the longest range fan daminator in history. We go to the and wide angle for this one. The chair passing directly past Van Dam in to <laughs> almost the cr <laughs> It's off the barricade. Boo! And oh, the corner. What in the fuck? <laughs> uh, 
Somebody call Lesnar. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Drink to the Unf face. Unfortunately, RVD misses the shot, does not get the two points. Vince falls down, botch. <laughs> <laughs> and flexes like a boss. <laughs> Let's take a look at that really quick in our last action replay. <laughs> last action replay. Fortunately, not coming out the same weekend as Jurassic Park. <laughs> And uh, click. <laughs> There's Vince. He's got the. <laughs> gets run over. Gets back up. Like a boss! <laughs> oh shit. And saved. Someone tweet that to me this instant. By the way, uh, screenshots of uh, Universe Mode are going up on our uh, Facebook page, uh, uh, facebook.com slash fedsports1. Mm-hmm. As Vince with the large... <laughs> with the biggest fucking sneeze ever in the history of Boner Dome. He actually has a very serious flu right now. He's fighting through this. Look at that. <laughs> like a boss. And we're back to live action. That last action where you paid to take it about as long as the movie Last Action Hero. And Vince going after the belt to keep it in stationary format. <laughs> so we all know the last time that fucking chair went everywhere. Devon! Got the tables! <laughs> Monkey flip driver from Van Dam. Van Dam's busted wide open. Phantom crutch shot. He got busted open on an eye rake. Hey, those rakes are serious business. Yes, it harkens back to the classic days of NL and the eye rake back rake. Mm hmm. Mm. Let us never forget. Lest we not. There's Meanwhile, there's a three way tie for second place between Lucha Nash, Y2 JBL, and Fist Pasta. What the fuck is going on? Lionheart JBL may win. It's Y2 JBL. What? A, I would like to call botch as we take a look. I get, we are having some fun. <laughs> With the last action replay. Last oh, action Jesus replay Christ. it is. That wasn't a botch. That was his new finishing move. What? The drop to hold driver? He can only do it once. <laughs> oh shit! Well, that looked like shit. <laughs> oh wow! And like, screen uh, cap. <laughs> that was the suckiest bunch of sucks that ever sucked. <laughs> Here's Vince. I mean, oh wait, he's calling for it. He's had enough. He's had enough of this nonsense. Anyone, even him, could do a Russian leg sweep. Kick! Fan Dam to the outside. Cover one. No. Fan Dam tearing apart the Armenian announce table. The Uzbekistanian announce table. Fan Dam's going on top of the table. Oh, we're about to have some fun here. Northern Light Suplex on that through the table! <laughs> Spinning heel kick and Vince is in trouble. This is bad for everyone. This is really bad for everyone. No one in that match is having fun. Series of idle punching. <laughs> More idle punching from Devon.
And we're back into the ring. Elbow. What's Van Damme doing? Drop stalling on Devon! We have two sets of stairs in the ring. This ain't good. I'm just saying. Nope. This ain't good. Back rake! Is Van Damme gonna powerbomb someone under that chair? <laughs> if so, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was bridged between the stairs. <laughs> Would have freaked the fuck out. Monkey flip! Van Damme picks him up. Vince joins in. Super hand punch. Targets the arm. Vince is calling for it. Stunner on Devon! <laughs> Cover! No! One count on a stunner! <laughs> Meanwhile, he could have got a three count on those stairs for getting with that leg drop. Kicks! 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 Dips! <laughs> Punch and kick! Punch and kick! <laughs> Devon trying to get to his feet. Vince partially in trouble. Gets that broken up! Thank God! They're danger they are perilously close to those chair to that to those stairs. Chairs and stairs. What is Vince doing? I don't know. Monkey flip out of the corner. Van Dam with the stairs. Sets him down. I mean, Vince taking some time to dance at ringside. Well, you know to Vince. the delight of trying to get some of the fans to have some fun. Have some fun, damn it! Series of strikes from Camo Pants or Devon or whatever we're calling him in this match. <laughs> oh, hell, I've lost track. You can't see it right now, but Jerry Lawler, Jerry Lawler has seven pencils in his mouth. Kicks! 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 French onion dips! <laughs> Vince! With the Katahasha Chimichanga! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> when did he learn how to do that? You'd be surprised! <laughs> Vince is actually a secret member of Team Taz. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, this ain't good! Ah. <laughs> uh... Superplex! <laughs> Thank God, not on the stairs. But Devon is, in fact, calling for it. Not for the tables. Van Damme sends Devon in the corner. Vince is out on his feet. What is Van Damme doing? Neckbreaker! Vince has the stairs, not for long. Shin splitter! Headbutts! This is only the opening match, folks. Oh, it's God. not even the gimmick of this card. <laughs> Backbreaker from Greenwich, Vince! Oh, shit. Cover! No! <laughs> what a war, folks. By the end of this match, one of these men will have fun. Hurricane Rada into a bunch of stuff. That didn't feel good. One, two, no! Broken up by Camo Pants. Take town from Van Dam. Everyone, everyone's complaining of headaches. That looks like shit. Vince with the reversal. It looked like shit, but it was effective. And now Vince with the with the flying chair from earlier in this match. Oh shit! That chair has mystical properties, ladies and gentlemen. Vince back into the ring. Van Dam's got a drink, and he's got a chair. Someone's about to get relaxed. Oh god, that looked. Oh god! Right in the side of the fucking ear. That looked bad. Jesus. That looked bad. That Bulldogs. chair is covered in strawberry jam, ladies. Bulldogs and gentlemen. beat bears. It's true. Vince back into the ring. Van Dam here on the apron. Oh, okay, thank you, chair. <laughs> Stop doing Raven spots! No, you're not gonna fucking win at a Raven spot! <laughs> God damn it!
That would have just pissed me off. I know. I was like, that's it, he's going through the gauntlet. As in, we're going to find a glove and he's going to have to stick his head through it. Crunch to Greenwich Vince. Meanwhile, Kevin Dunn in the truck is saying, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Reversal. Reversal again. Vince thrown back into the ring. Both ECW alumnus going after him. E ECW? Yeah, close enough. Yeah. Oh! Holy driver on credits, Vince! The oh. cover! <laughs> Van Dam breaks it up! Why? Why you do this, Van Dam? Because we're not having fun yet. <laughs> <laughs> Kick to the back. Cock block. Devon has that shit into that rub clip belt by that cocky ass fan. Clothesline. Elbow. No. If only the someone told these three nut jobs to finish beforehand instead of yeah. making it up on the fly. <laughs> This might be a false count somewhere. My right cock block combination. <laughs> well, whatever that was, it was something. Stunner on my credits, Vince. <laughs> Cover. And Van Dam breaks it up again. <laughs> Swinging neckbreaker from Vince. I swear this is on normal, not epic. <laughs> That's why you want to make these matches elimination in the future. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> One, two, Van Dam does it again! <laughs> uh, oh, this ain't good. <laughs> Camo pants dropped on his head. Jawjacker from Greenwich Vince. Cover by Devon. And no, one count. <laughs> oh no, wait a minute! <laughs> Some team ups on Van Dam! <laughs> Is this collusion? Is it the Devon Building Fund? <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> wait a minute! Is, is Greenwich Vince the mysterious benefactor? Is he the higher power? HOLY DRIVER! No, if anyone's the higher power in this match, it's Van Damme. One! Two! Oh, get out of here! It was a damn setup! <laughs> <laughs> he mocks God! <laughs> and Dudleyville! Well, folks, that's our show. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Reverend Camo Pants gets the win over the higher power, Rob Van Dam. And there you saw the collusion at the very end of the match. Tired of Van Dam interfering in a bunch of crap. That was right on the bristly ends of that mop. And Udo, that mop dos, hasn't been adios. washed years. There you have it. Camo Pants. Devon Intervention, whatever you call him, he is the winner of our opener. And you can tell that he, wearing the crimson mask, is in fact having some fun tonight. <laughs> we got plenty more to come. So now we're going to have to breeze through everything else. <laughs> not a bad plan. Devon is not God. God is actually in universe mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my. There must be blood. I, 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 um, I think it was this game where I made it so as soon as Ric Flair comes out and does his entrance, he's already busted open. <laughs> He's already busted open. The match hasn't even started yet. 
<laughs> he just thought really hard and his head split open. This isn't for the strong of heart. This isn't even for Lion Heart. <laughs> He's not in until the main event. I know. Why 2 JBL? And here comes the Incontinental Champion. I, th I believe he won it. Did he did win it from Flair, so this is actually a return belt. Beard Samuelson, dumb enough champion, Incontinental Champion, open the bathroom gate champion. I'm noticing a reoccurring theme there. He's a he's a fantastic pooper. Ah. Huh. But now he steps in two. The dreaded thing that will be used multiple times tonight. The Boner Dome. The Boner Dome! Beard Samuelson has never appeared in a Boner Dome fight. Not even a legit HVF. It's true. Uh -huh. He has an 0-2 MMA record. Oh yeah, that's right. He yeah. was in... Um... He did the giant swing to uh, Incredible Reggie Weathers. <laughs> that's right, he did. <laughs> Speaking of that, that's going to be coming back uh, sometime next month. Uh, yeah, I, I'm yeah. excited for that. That's one of my favorite things in this entire world. Oh my god, it's, it, the, the stories just write themselves. Yeah. It's like, it's like really intelligent monkeys on typewriters. Yeah. It was the best of times, it was the blurst of times. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Ric Flair actually thinks he's taking on Vader and Dan Spivey in this match. Oh, man. By the way, that's not Pyro, that's actually Ginger Ale falling from the ceiling. <laughs> Just, uh, just point that out there for you. <laughs> That's, yeah, Tad, Tad Barnaby, you got it wrong. First ever, uh, the, yeah, the 2012 uh, Dream Fight Champion. 2013 was won by, uh, that dumb guy from Vietnam. Oh, yeah. That was, that was the Cinderella story of the century. Uh, last year was Victor Cupcake Iliola, who, uh, mm -hmm. His intention, because he's the current fight champion, he's actually going to defend the belt in the pre-show. Ooh! Yeah. <clears throat> Any uh, new faces uh, to appear uh, in the next... I believe uh, we have a couple. One of them is uh, an American from Tennessee named Jason Bristol. Uh, he's a yeah, master of the domestic wall punch fight style. Ooh! <laughs> Maybe some uh, Japanese affiliates here, too. We'll see. Huh. But, folks, that is later. This is now. The cage has yet to come down. So, because they haven't queued up that cage-lowering music yet. Well, now they have. Here we go. Beard Samuelson, Ric Flair, the Incontinental title, There Must Be Blood. Boner Dome. Boner Dome, baby. Boner Dome. Flair working away. Neck breaker from Beard. There's nothing I like better than two old guys scrapping around trying to kill each other. That's what this country was built on. That's all Hogan versus Flair is. Reversal. Elbows. Headlocks. Beard with a nice suplex. Neckbreaker again. Jesus, Beard with with all sorts of offense here. Oh yeah, he is. He is a fighting this, Incontinental Champion. He's taking this match very seriously. Whoa. We're back to another three-way tie for second place. Nash Y2 JBL and Fist Pasta. Steiner still out way in front. H3 still weighing back. You know what that means, right? He's going to win, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Jane Wrestling. For such a demonic structure. Stru I can't talk. Fuck such it. a demonic structure. It makes very little sense that so much chain wrestling is having in it between these two old times. <laughs> chain wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Fence. laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just setting up always, my toe. When my it comes shotgun. to roulette, always bet on Steiner. 
Knee stab from Beard Samuelson. And of course, the stipulation, there must be blood. The title can only change hands if Ric Flair busts open Beard Samuelson or himself gets busted open. <laughs> what if he busts himself open? Does he win? No, he doesn't win. It's not first blood rules. It's oh. pin, pinfall or submission must count if someone's busted open. Oh. Flair is sent to the outside. And it's Cage so what, so, so what happens if Beard pins Flair, but Flair isn't busted? What, what happens if Flair pins Beard, but Beard isn't busted open? Who cares? Then the belt... Oh, no! And Beard has broken some shit. And, folks, I can officially say that it has now broken down to Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> Flair is climbing the cage! Oh, nothing good. <laughs> Dear <continue>. God! <laughs> Beard is like, I don't know, what the fuck do I do? Somebody get those insurance Beard, forms Beard ready. is being smart. Flair! Fl <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> Flair flop on top of the cage! <laughs> he They're was both really, up really here. tired. Oh my God! No! <laughs> It was, it was a trick. Irresponsible! He lowered him in. With God as my witness, Beard has been shaven in half. He, he's been broken in half. Look at this, he's even flying. Look at that. Oh, that he's, he's a birdie. Birdie. <laughs> hey, <click. laughs> Flare face is the new Venus face. <laughs> Rick Flair scare sponsored by RF video. Let's get the wide shot of this. Well, Beard is officially dead. Yeah, the table even br the table was even conveniently eno convenient enough to break before he landed. Yeah. Oh dear God! It was a setup. Jerry Lawler broke that table before he could fall through it safely. Well, somebody start the damn match. He's eating. He's trying to take off his shoe and beat him with it. Beard walking around like nobody's damn business. Nah, no, he's trying to eat his foot! <laughs> that just pissed what him off. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Beard sends him into the corner. Flair is out on his feet. Beard tried to regain whatever level of consciousness he had. Or may not have had. Oh dear God! Oh God! <laughs> Beard is in a shitty pile of trouble! They're not even gonna let him finish the animation! It's Beard Mode! Beard Mode! <laughs> oh fuck you. We go! <laughs> Beard hits the steps! <laughs> Flair has busted open Beard Samuelson! And he won't quit! <laughs> Which means if Flair pins Beard, he has the title in possession. Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> Jesus! Really quick in our last action replay. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! 
Oh god! Oh god! Those oh. three chops softened him up for dropping him on his neck. Oh god! Flair is officially fucking crazy. He's lost his goddamn mind. Back finally into the ring we go. Flair just threw, if you've just joined us, just threw Beard Samuelson off the top of the Boner Dome. And Beard's fighting back. He's fighting back here, folks. I don't like it one damn bit. <laughs> He's rallying back for this capacity crowd of 34 million viewers. Representing 12 different countries and Ohio. Homer's like, God damn it. <laughs> Flair with a takedown. Dragging him. Looks like. Could he be setting up for the figure four? No, he's, he's dancing. He's not going for the figure four. He's going for the figure 40. <laughs> he's going to dance. <clears throat> Elbow to the face. Garvin Stomp. Just give him the belt already. Flair now dancing. He's going for it. Now he's really fucking dancing. <laughs> it's locked in. He's got the figure four. Beard's got in. nowhere to go. Beard reverses. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <coughs> What the hell is going on? <laughs> Elbow. Into the corner. Flare with an elbow. Cover. One. Two. And it's over. Ric Flair is the new Incontinental Champion. Oh my god. <laughs> What the hell did we just watch? Something amazing. So many. Beard was shoots. thrown off the top of the Boner Dome cage through a table. Got pile driven on the floor. Got dropped on his head on a suplex. And the belt is now magically around the waist of Ric Flair. Holy fuck. The belt is hovering around the waist of Ric Flair. Doesn't matter, he's got it. I'd keep it. Look at that. Beard Samuelson's face covered in strawberry jam. Well, folks, I think we're having some fun, damn it. <laughs> <coughs> Let's check it in on our poll. Let's see. Right now we have uh, a solid 15 votes to who's see who's going to win the final climax tonight of Boner Dome. 15 votes for the, the incumbent champion, Steiner. Uh, a three-way tie for Kevin Nash, Y2, JBL, and Fistpost at four votes. Joseph Esquire, Esquire, three. And rounding out the list is H3 with two. Which means H3 is going to win. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Good God. That was definitely something. It's just... What do you... How, how do you top that? With our next match. <laughs> Keep the cage down. <gasps> yes. The Poland Platinum Champion, Karma Kong, and her new BFF, Jillberg. Takes Jill. on the dollar ninety nine champion Beth Phoenix and Tits McGee. <gasps> champion versus champion. Tag style, baby. <clears throat> and Kevin Dunn has instructed me from the truck to skip the entrances. <laughs> Bless him. Good God, just...
Jailberg. Oh, she's already there. The dollar ninety nine championship around the waist of Beth Phoenix. It was actually Karma Kong was never she never really won the title. It's just they were so scared of her that they gave her a belt just because. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. That's well that's what you've gotta do. <clears throat> that's how the United States title was born. Alright, here we go. Karma Kong, Jill Berg taking on Tits McGee and Beth Phoenix. We're underway. Take over by Tits. Bulldog. Bulldogs kill bears. Just ask Paul Bear. <laughs> Jillberg working way on Tits. I what is going on? <laughs> All right, one of these people in this match is a woman. He's not really sure which one. Oh! Stereo Shinbreakers! That was the name of an 80s band back in the day. <laughs> is Blake Homa gonna... Uh, okay, yeah, he's here. Okay, he's still here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, hey, I'm here. Okay, he's like, he's like, I'm just getting dinner. <laughs> no. <laughs> not yet, at least. Shin splitter. Job blocker. Everyone working away on the legs. Oh my god. And a hot shot. Oh fuck. Shin splitter again. Working over the leg using those slip down strats. Joburg face planted. Karma Kong taking it to Beth Phoenix. Series of punches. All I, know is that when this, all I know is that when this eventually leaves the cage, it's going to get damn insane. I hope it does. Yeah. I hope it at least leaves the ring. This is... Shinbreaker again. <laughs> this is the match of nothing but Shinbreakers. Dropkick, but no, does not connect to anything. Bulldog. And the HVF tandem team thus far. Faring, uh, faring pretty well, I think. Not for long. Phoenix into the corner. Punch. Shin breaker. <laughs> Knee. Roll over. <laughs> Panties. <laughs> what kind of a program is this? Well, they fixed part of the cage. Oh, good. Since two old guys beat the fuck out of each other. I'm telling you, Flair suckered him in. And Jesus, what a clothesline! Death. Yeah, Shinbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Boner to own Shinbreakers. Butterdome, the shin breaking in. <laughs> drop to a hold. Atomic drop. It's extreme, Moggle. <laughs> Spear! <laughs> Russia leg sweep from Jelberg. This match may not even make it out of the ring. Yeah, about that. Phoenix to the outside. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe. Phoenix under the stairs. <gasps> Cover my tits, McGee. Wait a minute. No, one count. Hmm, never mind. <laughs> McGee into the corner. Reversal. Splash. Tit collision. Motorboat. <laughs> Into the corner again, Karma Kong working away on Tits McGee. McGee with a reversal! Wait a minute, no, 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 are you kidding me? Ultimate insult to Karma Kong! <laughs> oh shit. Are you kidding me? One! Two! No! <laughs> <laughs> that could have been it, Caveman. That would have been something. Yeah. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's, what is it, that's a wrong move! Glam slam! <laughs> Jillberg, son of a bitch! Three! In a relatively tame match, if you can call it that. <laughs> There's now a four-way tie in the poll. Oh my god. Good God! <laughs> Why don't we just no make it a five-way tie and just get it over with? No one wants H three to win. <laughs> it was Joe Berg catching Beth Phoenix via teleportation, falling victim to her own move, the glam slam. Tits McGee too busy working away on Karmic Hog. And the big titty collision team of Karma Kong and Jilberg get the win. They don't even they're not even on this show. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even really know who they are. They were just lurking around the arena in the back. Panties. Dem girls. <laughs> Dem girls. Oh, I think we got a new. I think we got a good one coming up. <gasps> yes, we do. Yes, we do. I hope this is elimination chamber. If not, we'll just roll with it. Six man. Elimination chamber. San Bernardino City Council taking on Scotty to Bobby to Hardy. <laughs> yeah. What a war we got. This is non title, by the way. This is going to be something. John Lauren and Fudge Puddle, the HVF Best Friends Forever Champions. Previous holders of the NL simultaneous titles, but they lost it last week. They've come back. To attempt to conquer the Boner Dome with their sergeant <laughs> with arms, Ken Shamrock, their director of sports operations and talent relations, Fudge Puddle, and the fucking mayor of San Bernardino, California, John Laurinaitis. That's a solid team. I know. Great cohesion. Dun, dun, dun. And if it's regular elimination, well, we'll be okay with that. Yeah. And Mr. Dunn has told me to speed this thing along. <laughs> I'm in the zone! I'm in the kid zone! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> they won't let me eat at the adult table, yeah! Well, why did we put Ken Shamrock to Chuck E. Cheese, damn it? <laughs> Making one of the damn robots top out. It's Five Nights at Kenny's. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Uh, somebody get to work on that. The jump scares are just him yelling at you. Ah! <laughs> yeah. He's a former pancreas champion. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> Match will start out one on one, and then uh, another person will come in, and then it's two on, and then it's the. Uh, so we're going to see who has the man advantage. <laughs> Scotty to Bobby, former BFF champions, if I remember correctly, did in fact lose the belt to uh, San Bernardino. Hmm. This is true. No dancing in this one. They're sitting there, all business right now. This time. Scotty's got the open, uh, Scotty's got the Devo potted plant on his head. And a jacket he stole from the Nasty Boys. Mm, yep. I'm the lyrical Pootsmith turn. <laughs> <sighs> Van Dam lost earlier tonight. Can his other Team Weed member? And we're going to move this thing along. Oh, 
Oh no, it's uh, okay. It's regular six man tag. Okay, this is fine. Maybe. All right, six man elimination tag. I. I guess we can't have two elimination chambers in one night. Of course not. No, That'd be just, too. No, just we only have so much of a budget. I know. Scotty says Lord Nidus. And we're going to have some teamwork. There's the drop and the elbow drink. Oh, yeah. One. One. Every drop to a hold elbow drop, you take a drink. Every time the barricade drinks, breaks, take a drink. Every time the table breaks, drink. Backdrop by Lord Nidus. Into the corner. Hit toss by Bob Holly. Knee stamp to the arm. And one more time. We still have that four way tie in the pole. <laughs> we do. Shamrock looking for a tag. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I don't. That is a long tag rope. Says press from Laurinaitis. And tag is made to his partner, Fudge Puddle. Scotty too hotty brought back in. Arm drag. Fudge Puddle, number 81 of the Akron Accidents. We will be, uh, Training, he'll be reporting to training camp here shortly in a couple months. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully he'll remove those spikes from his shoulder pads. Those are legal. Oh. They are regulation. Hip toss. It's like Bastion Snow Spikes, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all theatrics. All theatrics. In the quarter goes Scotty. Tag May, Laurinaitis. Uh, oh, and the spring shore. Yes. There you go. European uppercut from the mayor of San Bernardino. Both of them both looking for tags. Reversal. They have not seen Ken Shamrock in this match yet. And Scotty going to the outside. Oh, boy. Yep. We got a war. <laughs> Hardy sends Lord Nice back in with the elbow. Flip. Figure one leg lock by Scotty Tuhani. Clamping down on the leg of John Laurinaitis. Why isn't it a figure two leg lock? What? That'd just be two legs. Scotty too hotty with the figure two leg lock. Get out of here. <laughs> I can't. Not I live sack here. driver. <laughs> with the drop kick and Lauren and it goes to the floor. And it's <laughs> Hardy hits his own tag partner. Lauren and it hits the post. And again. Kenny Shamrock gets uh, gets involved here. Just a little bit, of course. And with the confusion, Fudge Puddle is tagged in. Fudge up top. Down big time with the axe handle. No one will ever tag in Ken Shamrock. Jeff Hardy does not know which corner to go to. He is stoned off his ass. He is. That's an arm breaker. He does not know where to go. He Ever. Is, he has transcended the plane of reality with the ball, and we, we, he is... We, where is Sting? We is, need him to help us out with this. He is, he is about as warm as the inside of a Twinkie on a hot July day. And Scotty Too Hotty gets his fucking face plant killed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm getting word Jeff Hardy sees a bear in the crowd.
Meanwhile, Scotty just went on his own mystical journey there with the big F5 from number 81. Hardy comes to it. As the referee just begins the ski balling. <laughs> Out of oh, nowhere. Jeff, awake. <laughs> Ace Crusher, taught by the mayor. Back into that submission on Scotty too hotty. Scotty gets out of it. End of the corner. Thus far, the team of Scotty to Bobby to Hardy is not faring very well here. Nope. Hey, Fudge Puddle, what's up? <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was number four. Huh. <laughs> Quick tags made. Laura Knight is in fudge puddle in firm control of this match thus far. Neither of them like Ken Shamrock. They're getting they're saving them for later. It's a good strategy. And Scotty goes to the floor. And San Bernardino is first to greet him with punches and kicks and slams. Scotty into the barricade. There's actually a podium for that at the visitor center in <laughs> San Bernardino. It's like a twenty it's like a twenty five cent kissing booth. Yeah, except it's just getting beat up. Bob Holly into the barricade. Referee attempting to, to uh, restore order. <laughs> Good freaking luck. Yeah. Scotty into the post. Scotty into the barricade. Laurinaitis! <laughs> Laurinaitis and Scotty to the barricade! Fucking drink! <laughs> Fudge Puddle just disappeared! <laughs> oh shit. Fudge Puddle is gone! Oh god. Fudge Puddle is not accounted for! What? Referee begins the count. And we, we have a rope break. What? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh, uh, well, we're going to skip this. <laughs> um. <laughs> he's been. <laughs> enjoy he's this, been enjoy this picture of the Green Ranger for you. <laughs> Fudge Puddle's been, <laughs> been summoned back to Akron. This match was no... Wait a minute. I believe we are going to restart this match for the titles! <laughs> oh, shit. This match has now been restarted for the titles! And it, it said we were also getting Fabulous Muda versus Val Venus. And it will be contested under San Bernardino rules. No disqualifications, five count. <laughs> oh, God. And it will be contested with a ten-minute time limit. Good. Play it. We're going to turn entrances off, because Kevin Dunn said so. <laughs> It was a trick all along to get the belts in play. <laughs> I know. That was a good ploy. All right, so this has a 10-minute time limit. Being contested under the rules of the San Bernardino High School Gym. Which, oddly enough, we are broadcasting from, believe it or not. There's the drop. There's the drink. <laughs> uh, two... Two, two! <laughs> Chop block. Mayor John Laurinaitis realizing how unfair this is that he now has to defend his title in the most dubious of circumstances. Tele oddly enough, not the first match to be brought about on a, on a court of uh, teleportation. <laughs> Elbow drop. 
Can Scotty to Bobby. I believe it was Jeff Hardy who teleported his ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and brought Ken Shamrock with him. <laughs> but thus far, Bob Holly in firm control. This is not going to be a good month for San Bernardino. Fudge Puddle tagged in. Bob Holly taking a breather here. It's no disqualifications, but there is that five count. So he's going to try and hurry here. A very strict five count by referee, referee Little Nate. Back into the ring we go. Bob Holly and Fudge Puddle squaring off. Tag made. Hey, Blake. Yes. Three. <laughs> God damn it. Fudge Puddle working away on Scotty Too Hotty. Face Buster. All San Bernardino has to do is outlast eight minutes. And Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Oh, out of nowhere with the Ace Crusher. <laughs> Sweet Jimmy John sandwiches. <laughs> Face Buster. Kick to the shoulder as Laurinaitis does his come on baby thing. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to rally the rally this anti San Bernardino crowd. Sweet sassy molassy suplex. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty into the corner. Blake, I can only count to four. <laughs> 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 The kryptonite of San Bernardino out of nowhere again with the Ace Crusher. <laughs> Fudge Puddle sends Bob Holly into the corner. Whee! <laughs> Cross body from Laurinaitis. Absolutely unreal. Lauren is trying to... Oh! With a cheap shot to Bob Holly. Boo. Gets tangled up there. But is able to make a tag to Fudge Puddle. The widest of wide receivers. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty sends Fudge Puddle into the corner. There's the drop. There's the five. <laughs> no. <laughs> there are more tag moves than that. Yeah, but they're not as effective. <laughs> Giant suplex from Fudge Puddle. Sweet sassy molassy suplex. It's fun uh. to say. You gotta admit. <laughs> Near to the head of Bob Holly, Fudge Puddle. Firm, firm control. The consistency is um, is off the charts as to how firm in control they are. Well, Lord, that's why they're the champions. Lord Knight is giving Bob Holly the death stare. Sweet fudge music on the chin! <laughs> Lord Knight definitely approves. And... Suplex! I believe, I believe Laurinaitis shouting directions at Fudge Puddle wants to end Bob Holly, the team of Scotty to Bobby for good. Both of them give chase. Or chase if you're French. Huh. Drop kick does nothing. Elbow to the helmet. Not as effective as you would think. Hmm. Elbow. Oh, shit! Bob Holly just flipped off the crowd! And Fudge Puddle himself proving that, yes, he is number one. <laughs> the crowd not, not liking the actions of one Bob Holly. <laughs> of course, he does not give a fuck. Nope. Scotty Too Hotty back in. 
Fudge Puddle will stay. I don't know if he's playing possum or what. He's just one head injury away from turning into Bob Hala. Bob Hala. <laughs> Fudge Puddle is still down. This could be a problem. Might be dead. Rolls him over. Into a camel clutch. Crawling. No. All that giant wake and spikes and impaling and thingies. And look at that fudge puddle mocking. Mocking Scotty too honey. <laughs> what is he doing? What in the... What the goddamn thing is... What is going on? That's his own move. That's his own move. He's moving back into position. Fudge oh, Puddle gosh. is doing the worm. <laughs> oh God! Uh, Cover one. What a no he one count. <laughs> oh, he is pissed. Fighting fucking spirit. Nobody is happy. Damn it! <laughs> Arm drag. Cover one, two, and, and well, it's over. Champs retain. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the deadliest arm drag in the business. <laughs> San Bernardino is still your tag team champions. Unreal. <laughs> if you want the belts, you give it the fudge puddle. <laughs> Can't San Bernardino be stopped? Well, well, I, I say that in HVF Universe mode, but I mean in other, other modes, I, I guess they could be. I don't know. Look at that pose. Look at that lore notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually most of them, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we have Great Muda versus Val Venus. For Yamaguchi-san. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. <laughs> I, am, I am actually at that point. In um, 1998, Raw's on the network, where Yamaguchi signs a thing, and it's great, as great as I remember it. Oh shit! All right, this is a cool down match. So if you have any aspirin, please take it. Oh, wait a minute, we have a tiebreaker. Why 2 JPL has five votes? <laughs> Falvin is pulling one from the uh, martial arts playbook of CM Punk. Or, excuse me, Phil Half Price Brooks. <laughs> Half decent Muda? <laughs> Coco Crush. Oh, God. Into the corner. Murdo with some pretty slick moves. One, two. Three, it's over. Oh, no. Reversal. One, oh. two. No. One, two. No. One, two. One, two, th <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, no, one, two, no! <laughs> that was 26, ref. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> One! No! <laughs> that was 18, ref. <laughs> Holy shit. 
That should have just been the whole match. Yeah, just five minutes of that. I, I would have been definitely okay. Valvinus busted open in mid bulldog flight. Muda to the outside, springboards in, and connects. One more time for good measure. <laughs> How about a third? No? Okay, close. Close enough. L face. <laughs> I bought a Sin Cara mask off of him, for God's <laughs> sakes. It's true. I was watching the videos of uh, why you don't why you don't stay at a hotel with NL, and we piled up a bunch of stuff under the bathroom door. So when Johnny <laughs> opened it, and it all fell. Apart. Yeah, that was that was. Good I times. remember that. Good mm -hmm. times. And then my shoes wound up in the Gulf of Mexico. Well, the Atlantic Ocean, but whichever. It was all right. Swirling Merlin. <laughs> Cover one. Two! No! Swirling <laughs> And Valvinus goes down in a heap. <laughs> Fabulous Muda winning quite convincingly. There you see this, the long standing series of who could put each other's nuts in their faces longer. <laughs> that giant flying bulldog. He kicked behind the leg. And the shining was Otto. Fabulous Muda gets the win here tonight at HVF Boner Dome. In a match that was not even contested in the, bo in the Boner Dome. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Six out of ten. No Boner Dome. <laughs> Still to come tonight, the giant, the, the big climax. Six man <clears throat> elimination chamber for the big shiny thing. Steiner with a whopping 19 votes. The favorite. And now we have Mike Tyson versus Almond Roca. The baddest man on the planet versus the pretty mild versus man. Mike Tyson. Versus Mike T <laughs> versus Mike Tyson. <laughs> Almond Roca figuring if he could beat Mike Tyson tonight, then he could start his own little streak, a mean streak. We already had the Divas. No Divas Boner Dome. We did. We uh, we had a, the Divas tag match though, which was pretty damn entertaining on its own end. It was. It was good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Tyson and Almond! Tyson and Almond! Oh, <laughs> Almond Roka tired of being just a legal pencil pusher. He wants himself a mean streak. <laughs> Giant flap thing. Roca pulling out new uh, moves from the playbook here. Yeah. Well, he's got a he's got a, pr a point to prove. He's starting the mean streak, and he has been taking it thus far to Mike Tyson. Well, Mike Tyson's probably sleepy from solving all of those mysteries. I know. Update. Test is still dead. <laughs> uh, I should leave right now. I can't top that. Another takedown by Almond Roca, aka David Otunga, if you're new to the yeah, multiverse. To the outside we go. Oh, God. Tyson into the barricade. Headbutt. Tyson now back into the barricade. Takes a jaunt into the barricade again. Roca sends him in the post. And again into the post. Figuring he was not quite ready for the barricade spot. <laughs> T 
Tyson the outside. This is how you begin the mean streak posse. What? Uh, uh, Tyson horrible. with a reversal. Tempting to fight back in this one, not faring too well. Into the barricade again. Headbutt! Roca resets the count. Barricade. Headbutt. <laughs> now would be a good time to take your talent off for all these headbutts we're having. Yeah, I'm already on number seven. And... I did drink! <laughs> well, this match had to end somehow, and that's how it ended. The mean streak mm. continues. Of Almond Roca by sending him into the corner. Wait, no, he doesn't want to win this by count out. Roca is resetting the count constantly just to piss people off. <laughs> Boo that man. Boo. Boo that man. Boo. I believe David Otunga is going to join the Mega Powers as Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, well, makes sense. <laughs> uh, Shaq back up with his Nexus buddy. I'm Joe Shane. Joe Shane. I hate everything about this. And count out <laughs> Almond Roca. The well, Mike Tyson's streak. dead, so the, the ref streak can't... has begun <laughs> via a barricade. Not much to be said in that one. Tyson could not answer the 10 count. And that jerk. He also, he also cannot answer simple math questions. And folks, I believe it's now time for the main event. Oh, God. <gasps> main event time, baby. Six man elimination. Boulder Dome! Boulder Dome! Boulder Dome! Boulder Dome! Dairy Queen Flurry Road. <laughs> Lucha Nash, H3, the champion, Scott Steiner, Joseph Esquire, Esquire, Y2JBL, and Fist Pasta. Steiner completely overshadowing everyone with that and his workout video. <laughs> I think this is actually the first time I've streamed an elimination chamber in 13, or actually done one. Probably. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Waffle House of Horror Match. <laughs> I approve. So it looks like Y2JBL and Steiner are going to start off this match. The odds! The 33.3 chance of winning. Steiner math, not in the favor of Scott Steiner. Never mind, it's a clothesline. Is Y2JBL going to cancel the dinner of Scott Steiner? <laughs> Shin splitter, here we go. There we go. Oh, God, Jacuzzi kick! JBL will offer that it was actually outsourced. Yeah. Uh, the American way. I rake. It was Scott Steiner that actually won the big shiny thing in the double triple threat match alongside Ric Flair and TF British after he pinned TF British via push ups. <laughs> I'm dead serious, Blake. That's how it happened. Oh, my God. Watch it on the YouTube channel. And we're going to see who's coming in next. It's Joseph Esquire, Esquire. 
Are they going to be targeting the champ to see what they're going to do? <laughs> Great commentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Backdrop on Steiner. Steiner just needs to get away from everyone. Yeah, he needs to go hang out. He, need, on, he uh, needs a vacation in little hiatus. <laughs> Where where's that near? I've heard of that place before. I think there's a, I think there's a much little hiatus. It's up in the New York area. Maybe near oh, yeah. No, that sounds about right. Or a small suburb in Chicago. Tie up now. Go behind by Esquire. Elbow. Punches. Punches all around. Everyone turning their attention to Y2 JBL. Well, and he... the shins. Here comes Fist Pasta. Just think, if Fist Pasta were to become the holder of the big shiny thing, what would that do? Uh, and it may cause me to delete my game, quote unquote, accidentally. Yeah. Oops. I dumped water all over my comp my console. Repeatedly. Flashback to when JBL had a beard. <laughs> Close line. And it's also count your own pinfalls. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, good. Steiner getting all set up and ready. He's firing back. Into the corner. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whatever that was. So oh my what the hell? Let's take a look at that in our last action replay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was, but that was quite okay. Let's see if we can go from this angle here. Alright, we have a headlock, we have a headlock, we have... Is there a wider angle we can oh, no, shoot we have... from? Oh, we just... No, no, never mind. False alarm! Sorry. Continue. Start our firing back some more! <laughs> Sends Esquire into the corner. Sort of. God damn it. Hip toss. <laughs> Here comes Lucha Nash. Backdrop from Steiner. H3 is the last man that's going to be arriving, which means he's going to win. Yeah. Maybe. But there's a good chance of it. Esquire propped up. Fist Pasta targeting his attention to Scott Steiner. Steiner in the corner. Close line by Esquire. Cover by Esquire. No. And in the corner goes Steiner. Collision in the corner. Oh dear God, what a knee. Luchinash getting involved. There's drops the leg. Elbows. Ah. Flapjack of crap. And all six men <laughs> are in this one. H3 being wise and not paying much attention by running in place. Luchinash gets power bombed. <laughs> that does not make sense. I know. Close line by Esquire on Pasta. Drink Steiner's every time he busted open. Drink every time he tears a quad. DDT. H3. With the cover, I believe Scott Steiner has been eliminated at the hands of H3. So this will now guarantee a new champion. See, that's what happens when you don't keep the votes even. Yeah. Steiner really never had a chance. He opened it up. Oh, God, that looked bad. Hair pull backbreaker from Fist Pasta. Gamble clutch applied by Fist Pasta on Joseph Esquire Esquire. Yep. You still got that locked in. DDT! And I believe Esquire has tapped! Fist Pasta makes Joseph Esquire Esquire tap out! Suplex! <laughs> he leaves the vicinity. 
punch in the back of the head because hey, why not? <laughs> I'm telling you, Fist Pasta, he, he might come back and win this. I, I'm still going for Lucha Nash. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh <What>? my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! That was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> the swinging neck breaker! By Fist Pasta! <laughs> the backdrop of H3 onto Lutonash! No. That did not end well for anyone as we go back <laughs> to live action! H3 sends Y2 JBL into the corner. Sidewalk slam by Lucha Nash. Cover on Fist Pasta. No. Backdrop to Fist Pasta. Neckbreaker by H3. Cover. No. <laughs> The thrust is, in fact, the must for Fist Pasta. Neckbreaker! Cover on Nash. Battle driver to Y2 JBL. I believe Nash has been eliminated by Fist Pasta. God damn it. Oh my god. We have H3, Y2 JBL, and Fist Pasta. Neckbreaker by H3. Chop! It's for the big shiny thing. Fist Pasta's getting out of here. And now! Y2 JBL! Ultimate insult! Fist Pasta for the cherry pick! <sighs> That's three! It's down to H3 God and Fist damn Pasta! It. I'm not It's happy a rematch about any of for this. very large wrestling event 38. Cover on a close line. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not. Isn't Terry Funk in this game? <laughs> I guess if he is, he's cashing his chainsaw in the bank. <laughs> Hate everything about this. This is fucking bullshit. I'm gonna set myself on fire. What a champion. H3, who never won a damn popularity contest in his life, has now won the big shiny thing. Holy hell. Uh. Worst. Worst ever. Well, Flair won the Incontinental title. Which is which is good. Uh, Best Friends Forever Championship was defended successfully, which I, I approve of. Uh, David Otunga begins the mean streak. And H3 is your new holder of the big, shiny 
thing. Folks, we're going to continue on, but we're going to finish up our local recording. This show has been locally recorded, and it's available always and always on demand for the low, low price of $0.00 and zero zero cents. And for the rest of May, it is free. <gasps> yes. At uh, YouTube.com slash HVF.